Hey guys, I'm back. Hopefully I can make this a quick video. I'm coming to you with a video about lipstick. The reason I'm doing this is because um, after I had posted my first video, uh, I was actually asked how I go about choosing lipstick for my complexion since I'm a dark skinned woman. There's like a lot of lies being told out there about you know certain shades that we're not supposed to wear that we can't pull off, whatever, whatever. I think that's crap. I think that's crap. I think you can wear whatever shade you want to wear. It's all about how you use the product and how you feel when you wear it. So if you're not confident when you're wearing it, of course you're gonna look crazy wearing it. Two of them are higher, uh, more expensive lipsticks, I guess. I, I don't wanna say high end. Um, so they're more like more expensive lipsticks and the other two are NYX, which is a uh, drugstore brand and they're really cheap but they're really good so we're gonna start with this one this is uh, Dolce Vita by NARS okay so this is it hold on there you go this is what it looks like for real please excuse my lip liner on it but yeah so this is the shade um, I usually wear my lipsticks with lip liner I think that's a big thing. In order to not lose your mouth, I think lipstick contains everything, so you need to have some. Uh, I'm actually going to use a, a NYX lip liner. This one is Y2K, so this is all you need to see, really. So it's like a dark brown lip liner. So we're gonna use this first. I'm gonna do the swatches on my lips. I just think you get a better idea of what the product looks like when I do that. Okay, so this is my mouth <laughs> with nothing on it. Not bad, but we can improve. I'm gonna line the lip, okay? You can just line around or you can actually fill in the whole mouth. I usually line the outside, okay? So, lightly, because this is a dark brown, just go easy on it. You just wanna define the lip, okay. That should be good enough, and you can add more after you're done. So, put your lipstick on. Hold on, let me do it like this, okay. So this lipstick is actually pretty sheer, okay? So if you want more color, you have to go over, okay? And this is what it looks like. So nice splash of color, but still kind of subtle. I usually jazz it up with some lip gloss from NARS. This is actually Chihuahua. Chihuahua, sorry. So this stuff stinks. It really does. It smells disgusting, but the color is awesome. And I use it to just highlight the bottom lip. Okay. So this is it. So this is the first lipstick. The second lipstick that I want to bring you is an orange lipstick. This is uh, Vegas Vault by MAC. So this is, hold on. This is what it looks like. Slightly scary if you do not usually wear orange lipstick, but uh, it's really awesome on dark skin tones. Orange is awesome on dark brown anyway. And it's the color for the season. So nails, makeup, lips, it's all about orange this season. So I actually use a lip liner with this one too. I don't have an orange one. However, I can still work the brown. You just have to be light handed. So let me line the lips once so again. So when you're choosing your brown liner, you're choosing something that's obviously still darker than your own um, complexion. Okay. And sometimes what I do is I'll fill in like this part right here, okay? Especially because this is a lighter shade. I'm gonna fill it in a bit more. So, let's 
put it on. Super bright. Uh, also, your lips need to be in tip top shape to wear something like this. Because if you have dead skin, like flakes and things like that, it's all going to show up. This is super unforgiving if your lips are not moisturized. So, as you can see, it's still a little too dark around the mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a lip brush and I'm going to blend it out. So give me one second. Let me find the lip brush. Okay. So, so you want to define the lip, but you don't want this big brown ring around the mouth. So just even it out and bring the brown color down a little bit. Okay. So if you don't have a lip brush, you could use like your pinky finger and then just go back and even things out. See, so the thing is that this is not necessarily the way that someone with a lighter complexion would wear it. You know, they might just be able to slap it on and walk out the door, but this is not the situation here. So um, this is how I make it work. Okay, so. Super bright lip, but awesome with dark skin. So, and it makes your teeth look whiter. Now we're gonna dip into the cheaper lipsticks. I love these lipsticks. I actually didn't even like a lipstick up until like maybe a year ago, I guess. Um, and I started out with cheap lipsticks. And I just happen to love NYX. It's cheap and it works for me. Super creamy and everything, so I love these ones. I'll actually put a link below um, for the site where I purchased them. This one is Eucalyptus. This one I can actually use a pink liner for it. And this is Bloom by NYX. So let's line the lip. I might have to go back and use some uh, some brown. With this, I'll actually fill in the whole lip. Okay, so this is just the lip liner. Okay, and eucalyptus. Brown liner to just give it more shape. Okay. I try not to match my makeup to my clothes. Here's my rule. My rule is that if I'm wearing like neutral colors, black, white, brown, beige, boring colors, I guess, then I'll go more outrageous with the makeup. If I'm wearing bright colors, I will tone it down with the makeup. It's That's the only rule I go by. But I try not to match my clothes to my, match my makeup to my clothes, okay? So it's not like a big brown line. It just makes it so that your mouth still looks like it's there. So this is it. This is eucalyptic, Eucalyptus by NYX. And I got into like a bold lipstick after uh, Nicki Minaj came out. I don't know, it did something to me. So, and she's not even my shade, she's not even my complexion or anything, but she just made me feel like I could wear stuff like this outside, so yeah. So neutral eye, bright lip, awesome, okay? So now last one is a red lipstick. Every girl, black, purple, or green, needs a red lipstick. The next one I wanna show you is Electra. 
I'm gonna use a red liner. I'm gonna use deep red. <clears throat> deep red and this is also by NYX. I think these were like $1.75. I wanna say $1.75 but I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna give you the link. So with this, I'm also going to paint the whole, paint, fill in the whole lip. Okay. Seriously, girls, uh, with lipstick, just make sure you exfoliate your lips. If I want to expo exfoliate my lips, what I do is uh, use this uh, Lush Lip Scrub or I'll take my toothbrush after I'm done brushing my teeth and just run it lightly over my bottom lip and it literally takes it all off. But just be gentle. That's all. So yeah. Okay. Electra. This one is also going to need brown liner for sure. Or else my lips just look... Hmm. nuts okay so this is it but we're gonna fix it up okay so the fact that you're lining your lips over the lipstick makes the liner less intense because it's competing with the lipstick And so this is the lipstick. This is Electra. I think it's awesome. Super sexy shade. If you want to take it up a notch, you could put some MAC lip gloss on it. The clear kind, the glitter kind is more for clubbing, going out, stuff like that. But so yeah, the clear kind, or uh, if you have a lipstick like this, like this that is a matte, that's also awesome. So. These are some lipstick shades. I know that not every girl who has my skin color thinks that she can pull off a bright red, but you definitely can, as you can see. So this is it. Those were the lipsticks. Like I said, I'm gonna put all the information um, about the products down below and you can check it out. And that's what's up. So if you have any questions, any comments or anything like that, you can hit me up below. So I'll see you soon. Bye.